Hello and welcome! I am Glass Lotuses, and this is a tutorial on how I color eyes. If you aren't familiar with my stuff, I post a lot on TikTok, not so much on here on YouTube, but we'll get it going. To start off, I'm just going to base out the shape of the eye. I usually use kind of an almond shape like this, but a bit flat on the top, and then I like to usually direct my eyelashes wherever my character is looking. Felt like drawing a cat's eye here, because one of my characters has that. So for the line art, I will usually start in black, but then I will go to a dark red tone and set the layer to multiply. For eyebrows, I kind of just rough out a shape usually. I smooth out a lot of the edges, but I will leave it kind of suggesting that there are hairs there. Just gonna quickly block out some shading on the skin here. I usually use this weird triangle technique I kind of came up with to shade faces. I haven't gone over that yet, but maybe I will at some point. I've been working on a webcomic, so I wanted to start doing more tutorials as they aren't usually as long to make as a lot of my other content. A bit faster and a easier way to generate content uh, while working on another project. So I'm just highlighting and shading the skin here. I usually do a bit of a darker shade at the very inside of the eye where it meets the nose and some darker shading along the crease. Um, highlights on the eyelid as usually those are a bit oilier than other places and just going under underneath that multiply layer for the lines with some shading for the eyebrows. When coloring the whites of the eye, I take a color that is the same hue as the skin but almost white. When shading, I usually go a bit redder and a little darker. I highlight with a color that is almost white but not quite, and I usually highlight around the iris as well just to make it pop a bit, um, and I do lighten up the middle of the shadow. When coloring the iris itself, I'll base out my mid-tone and then I will progressively layer in darker colors for the shadows and cool down the hues as I go. So here you can see I started with kind of a mid-tone blue and then worked my way to a darker and darker navy blue in layers, blending out the edges but leaving the top edge of that shadow fairly, uh, fairly rigid. Now, for the highlights for the irises, uh, I go in and I usually like to give them a little shape, especially for cat's eyes. I will go in and take a shadow just uh, along the edges of those highlights to make them pop. I'll add in some extra detail here and there, just some little flecks of highlights, some little flecks of uh, lowlights, and then I will go in and lighten up the middle of the shadow along the top like I did for the whites of the eyes. I then like to take a darker shade and edge out that top shadow, edge out the pupil, and then I take that same color that I used to edge those out and I go underneath the eyelashes and darken them up. For some characters, I will take a lighter shade and go along the middle of the eyelashes. Um, usually this is for like blonde characters or very light haired characters. Uh, I decided to do that a little bit here, but not quite so drastic. When it comes to the highlights, I will go and take a color that is almost white. As you can see here, I'm going with a very light blue. So then I block out where I want my highlights, and then I duplicate that layer. On the original layer, I'll set it to screen. On the duplicated layer, I will do a Gaussian blur, usually of about 10, and then I'll set that layer to color dodge. If you really want to make your eyes pop, an additional step you could do is take an airbrush and go over your iris with your color of choice, either the same color as the iris or something complementary. Um, and I also like to do a little bit of a scatter brush, and then set that to color dodge as well. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial, and if you want more content from me, please check out my TikTok or my Patreon.